Good morning all. How's everyone doing today? It's about 10 o'clock here in the morning, Philippine time. Monday morning. And I'm taking a jaunt over to our local, one of our local malls, the SM in Molino. Um, I need to get my my router loaded, which if you need to do here, you'll put loads in your phones and any of your electronic uh, devices you use for, for uh, communicating. And so I'm going in, they have a, a place there called Smart, which is the load center. And then a nice person takes my router and puts the load in for me and gets it all verified and I'm off and going for another month. You do it once a month, so that's why. Also, I just want to apologize. It's been a while since I posted and uh, it's because we've been kind of busy and I'm working on uh, my editing software. I'm having, I'm learning how to use it. So my videos don't come off at, out as often as I would like to, but I, I know I promise, but it's kind of hard. I'm getting going. Um, I also apologize for the quality. Um, I'm hoping to improve on that as well. We have uh, been using the dash cam and it's got this vibrating audio noise and I haven't been able to eliminate it. So um, what I need to do uh, is get a... Uh, <coughs> trying to I have a GoPro and I've been trying to use it but uh, the file sizes are so big that my editing software doesn't handle them well so I have an option I can either continue to use the dash cam di uh, uh, camera and live with the noise or buy and upgrade my computer system which I'm not really budgetarily um, I shouldn't do that I'm trying to control our budget so I'm waiting for a while we'll see what happens but I can edit the dash cam um, videos they're a little smaller and they uh, seem to edit better and I can work with them so anyway I apologize for that and the quality but I'm back on track here a little bit now I'm taking a ride so I thought I'd uh, share some things with you um, some of the things uh, we can discuss today are the monetary situations here uh, coming from the states I wasn't sure how that all was going to work you know I have money in an account back home and uh, I need to transfer somehow to be able to transfer that money over here so I can use it. Now there's two ways that I've been using since I've been here. One is I have a PayPal card. Uh, PayPal has been really good. Um, they charge a little bit from the... I can use that uh, debit card in the ATM machines here and so that uh, takes money right out of my PayPal account uh, which is fed and so I'm good to uh, go there. I actually have a, a certain amount of money in there every month and so that works out really well. <clears throat> so I use that as, you know, kind of my own cash uh, system. But then there's another great app. It's again uh, PayPal, but it's called Zoom. It's more for transferring money. Um, and that works excellent. So far it's been absolutely wonderful. Um, what you do is uh, you put in the amount you want to transfer and then you send it to an account over here and I have my wife's account um, which we established and I'm able to send money directly from my bank account over to the Philippines and to, into her account and it's like instantaneous it uh, transacts like within you know seconds and so that's been really really good and that helps pay the bills and it's been very good I'm getting retirement and my retirement check right in my account back home and then I have a renter who's renting my house and he puts money directly into my PayPal account it's it's all worked out really really well I haven't been short of money I, I'm never never concerned so it's good and the money transfer rate here uh, just so you're you know uh, a peso is uh, uh, there's 50 to 51 pesos depending on the, the day <laughs> but I normally go with 50 it's a nice easy roundup conversion it's 50 pesos to a dollar so one dollar equals 50 pesos so if I if I take out you know 10,000 pesos in cash from my ATM that's two hundred dollars and a little bit of transaction fees so it's not too bad money goes a long ways here um, there are certain things that are more expensive their electricity is expensive I pay around 8,000 pesos a month for our, our electricity and that's mainly because I'm using uh, air conditioning um, if we were to drop that down there was a month before I married my wife she told me that she actually had a, 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 a electric bill of six, 16 pesos if you can imagine and uh, we'll never see that again not in 
not unless we uh, split up for some reason, which isn't going to happen. Um, so we, we have adjusted and we're okay. She, she freaks out a little bit, but you know, understandably, she's a very frugal gal and uh, really is more wants to make sure that monies are being well spent and taken care of and she's really good about that so I appreciate her for that but um, you know there is reality here um, air conditioning is expensive and electricity is expensive food is very inexpensive if you buy like produce is really cheap um, if you tend to buy an American import stuff like oh let's use an example Cheetos or Listerine or or uh, you know, uh, picnics, which I buy, um, that gets a little more expensive. So um, we try to be careful there uh, in our buying. But you know, it's the budget stretch is pretty good. We live on about um, sixteen, seventeen hundred dollars a month, and that gets us gets us by. We do really, really well, actually. Trying to get out onto Aguinaldo. Now I'm going up to the uh, take a left at the uh, intersection to go to Molino, and uh, we'll get you to Molino. But again, the money thing is, it's uh, you can you can reckon it like take a thousand pesos is twenty dollars. A thousand pesos, twenty dollars. So that's not too bad, and uh, it's easy conversion, like I said, because it's fifty to one. So I. Uh, find it to be very very helpful anyway I'm going to cut off now because we got an interesting intersection but I'll get back to you as soon as we get through it although you can just enjoy it um, again this is a new new uh, overpass here that I would take but uh, I took a different route this morning um, so that I can I can get to the get the bypass because it's kind of messy up there uh, but that should be open. It's open in one direction, but not both directions yet. And that will help eliminate a lot of congestion here uh, in the Philippines. So, but anyway, we'll get through that. Uh, you can see again, uh, once again, we have those countdown uh, uh, stoplights, which are handy. Um, they allow us to, to uh, know when the light is going to turn green. So that's very helpful. Also, you know, kind of warn us when it's going to be be uh, red. So things are good and uh, life is good. And there you just saw a street vendor. Those guys, they come up right down the street because the lights are so long. It's quite a business they can do. Uh, they just walk between the cars and sell water and uh, food and things that you might need. And uh, they, uh, I think they do a pretty good business because the lights are so long that people are sitting and so it, it works really well. Um, make sure your doors are locked because you never know somebody might, might try and sneak in and uh, cause trouble. cheat there. Now we're on the main drag to Molino which is a nice smooth drive usually. So I'm back and everything is good. So um, again the money situation is interesting. We have lots of different situations where uh, exchange rates can change but um, you know we, we do pretty good. Money is not bad at all. And um, that's about it for the money. The money is uh, an interesting Commodity, of course, anywhere is an interesting commodity, but we uh, we do well. And life is good. God has really blessed us here since we've been here, and I'm appreciative of, again, the frugality of my wife and how much she, she loves uh, taking care of me in that way, uh, watching our monies. Um, had a busy, busy week last week. Um, I had a friend. We have friends here from the states Mike and Rebecca have been here for a month or so they came to uh, uh, join in their uh, spiritual daughter's uh, wedding and that was an exciting event while they were here and then my my good friend pastor Steve from back home he's my pastor at my church back in in the United States in St. Paul Beacon of Hope St. Paul and he's uh, been a great mentor and friend to me and so he came, uh, he was going to be doing a church planting. He's got a ministry called LifeGate Worldwide. And he was uh, 
doing some work here. He came to do a church planting min, uh, conference down in Mindanao and was able to spend some time with us. We had him stay at our house one night uh, up in Cavite or down in Cavite and uh, really enjoyed the, the day he was able to spend with us. He got to meet my wife for the first time and we just had a joyous time. We reintroduced to some, some of his pastor friends here, uh, Pastor Leo, my pastor here in the Philippines. They're really good and close friends, so they, they kind of uh, re, re up their relationship and started setting up some, some, some ministry ideas regarding LifeGate and what uh, LifeGate can do here uh, in supporting international church planting. Uh, LifeGate International is an international church planting organization, and the way they uh, handle missions is they support international or, or indigenous pastors in the countries that they, uh, they are in, and they uh, find it to be a much, much more efficient way uh, to stretch your dollar. It's not only an economical solution to missions and outreach, but it's also a, uh, it's much more efficient as far as um, not having to train somebody up in a language, not having to pay health insurance for a missionary, all these things uh, that you have to do if you were to support a missionary. Um, and and uh, they, uh, they, they support the pastors and then as the pastor plants his church and starts to get it growing, um, they start to uh, reduce the support monies so that they become more reliant on the church and dependent on the church. And it's a really great philosophy of ministry and it's uh, the important aspect of doing something like that is you need to have network people in the country um, where you're supporting pastors who know the ministry and who are aware of how to uh, to help and, and, and make sure monies are being distributed. Um, applications from pastors who want to be church planners under the LifeGate umbrella um, have to fill out an application and then they also have to file uh, monthly reports um, to continue their support. So all in all it's really an, uh, an interesting and, and neat way to uh, to do ministry and uh, or do missions work, and uh, I'm glad to be a part of that. Uh, Steve has kind of set me up a little bit temporarily, at least, as a point man through Pastor Leo. Pastor Leo has a network of pastors. He knows every pastor almost in the Philippines, so he's a great conduit for that and uh, has a real gift in, in making, uh, getting monies in, fundraising, which is an important part of the ministry. Um, and uh, someday I hope to have a connection from my YouTube channel um, to be able to support LifeGate. Um, it's a very, very uh, worthwhile organization and I would encourage everybody to do that. But I've been a part of uh, that ministry and another ministry we were involved with with Pastor Steve for years. I went to, uh, my first mission trip, third mission trip was to um, was to Argentina with a bunch of the people from the church that he had in St. Paul. And then um, from there we went, I went to uh, our, uh, South Africa on a short-term mission trip, which was a joy, and then also to uh, here in the Philippines in 2006, and I think I shared in my past video that I came here in 2006 initially, and then came back here again in 2017, or 2018. Um, so that's kind of the story, uh, but we were busy all week last week because of that, so that kept me uh, away from my computer and editing and things like that. But now I'm back on schedule and uh, quieted down a little bit. But I'm also uh, involved with being the missions director at the church that I'm involved with. Um, hopefully going to be doing some, some leadership training here in the Philippines as well as, you know, administering and helping out with LifeGate. It's a joy. Um, God has blessed us and continues to bless us. Me and Pressy, we consider the fact that we were brought together in marriage that there must be a, a, a God together and he's making... Uh, Hopefully we can have a ministry together and, and enjoy each other's uh, work together as a, as a mission team. Lord, I, I, he's been so good and I'm grateful to him for that. So blessings and honor to him. Always praise and honor to him. Well, that ends another episode, episode number four of our uh, YouTube channel, My Dash Cam Diary. Hope you all enjoyed that episode. Um, I've been working really hard on trying to improve the quality. I hope it shows. Uh, we're working on some things, adding edits and text and stuff. So I hope it looks better and, and the audio, I, I did enhance the color. So hopefully that shows up. And again, as always, we, uh, we really ask that you please hit that subscribe button. 
as well as uh, the notification bell. That helps us to get the word out about the, the My Dad Can Diary uh, YouTube channel. Um, we're still trying to promote, so every little bit helps, and we really do appreciate it. Also, like and share the video if so, if you do so, and I pray that uh, that would help. Also, we are uh, looking for any help we can get, so please uh, do your part to help us. We would be greatly, greatly appreciate it. it helps promote the video. Thanks to everyone already who has subscribed. Um, that's very helpful. Thank you for subscribing. We also ask that if you have content or suggestions you'd like to see added to the videos or, or advice on how to improve the videos, please um, respond down below in the uh, comments section and then uh, we will respond as, as quick as we can. Um, Pressy and I are grateful to you all for even taking the time, a little bit of time, to uh, share with us your our life's journey here in the Philippines. I hope you enjoyed this episode, Money and Missions in the Philippines.